Why? Hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbo 33 and welcome back to Heart Divine 4. New Order Last Days of Europe as the West Russian Republic. In the last video, we did some stuff and some things. <clears throat> um, whether or not you could understand me with my uh, nasty cold or whatever the hell this even is. Uh, that's a bit debatable, I suppose. But what I do know now is uh, it's time to uh, get on with this and uh, rock on. Um, I still have that cold a little bit, but uh, that's neither here nor there. We just kind of got to push through the best we can. And it sounds better. Um, at least my voice does sound better. So uh, I'll take what I can get in that regard. Got a new place in the world. Next, let's do some developments on the Kalishnikov. The AK-47 is one of the finest rifles to come out of Russia, probably, possibly ever. It's cheap to produce, extremely reliable, has replaceable parts, and it's simple to understand and use. As it stands, the rifle is unparalleled. This needs to change. While the design is superior in every capacity compared to the older rifle models, this is rather unremarkable in the history of rifle developments. The next generation of guns will always be superior to the last. The AK 47's excellent design today may become absolutely obsolete tomorrow. We mustn't be content to rest on our laurels while well, rifle technology in other nations surges ahead. Fair enough. Let's get some doctrines unlocked. We're missing equipment. Uh, what? Equipment? Transport planes. We're using transport claims? What? We also need to update our motorized, fair enough. Got some stuff building still. Well, um... Let's go ahead and expand the welfare programs. Uh, probably one last time. Probably gonna be the last time we uh, can do it. But, uh, yeah. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, today is the 24th of October. It's supposed to be a school day, but I'm still kind of sick, so I'm, I'm taking the day off. It's also the last day before Victoria 3 drops, which, uh, if I'm feeling better, I'm probably going to be going to school instead of playing Victoria. And if I don't feel better, I probably shouldn't be playing anything. And I should just be resting my voice. Although, whether that'll stop me or not is still to be determined but yeah so that's all pretty fun I I went ahead and I uh, pre-ordered it officially it's last day probably not necessary to do but uh I'm doing it anyway Cause it looks it looks good and even if it's not good I'm gonna play it for the channel anyway and so I have at least an um, okay chance to make my money back. It's a worthwhile investment. Um, in my opinion, of course. I don't usually uh, recommend or promote uh, pre-orders, but for me and my situation and case, it makes sense. Well, let's reclaim the skies. The Russian Air Force crumbled as an effective institution after the collapse of a union. In the ensuring debate, Debates decades have not exactly proven conductive to its rebuilding. Now we've begun our ascent in the world. It's time we make time to change all this for good. Just as Russia was made strong by its army, so too shall its skies be kept pure from small nation parasites by our fighters. Doing this, of course, is easier said than done. We must begin to overhaul our shattered air infrastructure, including a functioning airway network and our body of aeronautical supplies, for this plan to ever become viable. Even so, we must cling to the dream. One day the skies will let go with Russia again, and they will be our own. Well, there we go. Um, noticing that um, these guys, um, not too plentiful over here, so I'm hoping we'll have uh, some okay pushes or some a decent time going through, although... Uh, we'll only have to wait and see on that, I suppose. I think these guys... I have an idea for you guys. We'll try to use you guys to do a...
quick little push into Orsk. See if we can encircle these guys over here. That sounds like it will be fun. Hopefully it will work out well. Meanwhile, we're uh, building a little infrastructure all across the country still. It's coming along eventually. I'm sure it will, at least. And let's do our privacies. The Navy was once laughed out of government offices as a tool of war. We were landlocked, poor, and underdeveloped. How could we dream of a freshwater fleet? Of a freshwater fleet to ever come to fruition? We shelved these thoughts away until we were capable of expanding on them. It seems the time has come for them to blossom. We will invest in dockyard, in dockyards and begin construction of a naval fleet of our own, built primarily for coastal navigation and trade shipping protection. We limited utility navy and will utterly pale in comparison to our rivals, but we will have to start somewhere. Petrograd, after all, was not built in a single day. This will have been torn down in a single day, though. But uh, that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna have to be careful my voice. Um, I did the uh, shows over the weekend just because uh, if I don't show up, they can't do the shows. So decided to try and push through, and uh, especially uh, yesterday, Sunday, my voice could barely handle it. Um, the audience apparently didn't notice, which was nice, but I did, my uh, director, my uh, co-stars did. did. Um, I have a couple monologues near the end of uh, my scene, and so... Like, I, ju I could just hear my voice quivering and quaking. And, uh, man, it was not fun. I thought my, my uh, voice was going to give out on stage, which would not have been nice at all. Um... No, I've... Because, I mean, what do you do? You, you, you can improv a lot on stage, but if you don't have your voice, how are you going to do it? But, um, that's not here nor there. Let's work on tanks, why not? Designing a tank suited for our particular needs is no simple task. Not only must be reliable enough to trudge through the muddy swamps of western Russia during Rapustista, but also must be fuel efficient enough to operate for enough hours or even a few days without refueling. Or yet, any tank we design must have the armor to tank a shell or two from a German tank, and it packs just as hard. Our tank technology is now decades behind that of Germany, so developing such a tank will take time. Applying what lessons we learned from unification wars would serve as a starting point, at the very least. Yeah, gotta start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. Well, let's let's get it started then. Um, I have a tech boost. What do I want to work on? Infantry kits might be okay. Give us a little bit of a edge on the rest. Anti air also would be good, but we still need to catch up anti-air uh, for our troops in general. Yeah, we are very behind on that. Honestly, I might take that away so we can funnel you to that. But, um... Yeah, here we go. Now we got one more focus, and then we're done with the regional tree, which is very nice. Modern, modernity, and function. The Russian nation has constantly reinvented itself time and time again in response to foreign threats and internal challenges. It's time to embrace challenge once again, not to dilute Russia's essence, but to keep it stronger than at the first. We'll drive our ind industries and our governmental institutions to modernize, keeping them rooted to our ruralist values while expanding their administrative capacities. With the new concepts of organic bureaucracy being pushed by some of our more enterprising thinkers, we're confident that our slice of Russia shall soon touch the pinnacles of efficiency while keeping itself rooted in Russian soil. Beautiful. I think we should be having an election soon enough. I'm surprised we haven't gotten um, 
pop up yet. Guess old Linden one again? We might know for certain come, uh... Come January, I suppose. I mean, it is also possible that, um, the hotfix went through and fucked everything. Uh, but there's only one way to find out there, isn't there? I suppose. So, uh, yeah. A formation of a common turn. Interesting. And Mr. Yagoda. Doing some stuff. Two hundred manpower weekly. I was gonna joke on that, but it actually might be pretty good, especially in the Far East. Kind of need as much as you can get. Anyhow, um, I'll lock it out because that's not improving anymore. I know, but um, yeah, here we go, gang. I know, I know, our deficit's high, but. You gotta spend money to make money, you know? Oh, boo. Crisis in Nanjing. And now I believe... Oh. Boring indeed. Only failed. This looks like to be the uh, same as usual. Do do. Ooh, free infrastructure. I'll always take that. Extra manpower. Some air bases. There we go. Now they're starting to funnel some troops to the border. So it's looking a little less easy to push through as it compared to before, but... I think my ace in the hole is, uh... still here. So we can just push in and circle these guys. We are good. We're golden. Yep, all the way of LBJ. I was worried that, um, because I knew a hotfix dropped, because it's been a while since I recorded. I've been at home for a while, but I've had to be careful of my voice, especially with uh, weekend shows eminent, so I can record too much. Ooh, excellent. Now, what does this give us? I don't know, but we'll see. Like a bunch of nice bonuses overall, so I'm not going to complain at all. Let's get some airfields, some early casts, all of these. Get them ready in Vyatka. Does that work? I'll have you regroup over here. Ooh. Those oh, Japanese talks. Beer maintains the council. That's interesting. Guess we'll end up seeing uh, where that gets them. Um, let's survey eastern positions as well. Just to be safe. Is there anything here we want to do real quick? Uh, 
academic base. Something to help with expertise as well. Expertise, admin efficiency, or academic base. Expertise. Um, might be it. Really. And okay, fair enough. Let's do low engagement, low risk engagements rather. I'm gonna worry about dealing with the West Siberian Republic because probably have a pretty decent military going on. I don't know who I really would have. Um, Omsk, if they survive, might be an okay one to. Actually, if they survive, that would be a probably a scary one, but. I know they're pretty used to imploding. So, I don't know. What would work better there? Oof. Treaty ports can... Continue? No, it doesn't look like it. War on the horizon. The winner takes it all. Well, Hawaii remains Japanese. Or, or, or doesn't. Oh, did I misread that? Or did something weird just happen? I, I don't know. Well, winds are changing in the Pacific. That's nice. Good job, Jumbo. Look at you. Let's do air support. We got the seventies kit going. Might as well get working on the new anti-air. We're not to swap over immediately, but it is nice to at least have it. We'll save our command power. I think they're getting ready to invade us soon. If I understand that correctly. So I hope the forts are done by then. Yep, there they, there it goes. Alright. Well. Uh, are you guys going to do anything? Or just kind of going to stand there? Let's see. We're winning in the air. That is assuring to see. This almost makes me think. I should just go ahead. Let's see. Uh, Bureau fortifications are finishing up. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's going to be a lot better for us. Look at that. I go ahead and do something to uh, go hire foreign instructors. Ooh. I'll get education funding as well. do this too and then well shit We're starting to push it's going well too even
We got some pushes. And then there goes these guys. It's not going the quickest, but I think we're making good moves and good gains just to start off. I'll get the uh, recon boost. Let's get some engineers. Why not? Get some logistics companies. There we go. See if we can move into this little city. Or just give it up, I guess. AI. That works too. Yeah, I spin him down so he can make it here. Oh, fuck. Just couldn't let us have it, could ya? Well, it's going okay. We're taking those casually still. It's about a two to one. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see if we can't get an encirclement off. No soldier. Here's what you gotta do. Uh, you fight him there. That kind of doomed to fail there, I guess. Oh. Captured the arms factory, that is nice. Ooh. Looks like we can get a uh, double encirclement going. That would be nice. Get some production units going. Or not. Oh, no. Yes, we do. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's all coming to plan. So they technically lost the instrument there, but still took out a couple there, and there's just a larger encirclement down here to begin with. Uh, I see this as an absolute win, personally. I'll try pinning you guys. Don't want you to escape too quickly. There we go. And then, they're trying to delay the inevitable, which I can appreciate that. Ah. Yeah, they're, they're trying to be slick. And I guess they're not unslick. But, uh... More production units, which I love to see. Extra military factories? Okay. Um, more anti-air. It's probably going to be something that we need to uh, end the deficit of. <coughs> Excuse me. 
He usually say that for sneezing out a cough, but uh, I'm going to say it anyway. So it's a gentlemanly thing for me to do. We're taking chili beans. We're gonna take Sphere Lost soon enough, actually, as well. Gonna crush him here in Orsk. Slowly but surely. That's about a 3 to 1 casualty ratio. We are doing well. We're doing very well. Relocate yeah, yes, okay, their capital, Omsk. I wonder if we're even going to need to go out that far. It is possible that we need to. Um, these guys have been doing so well on this front uh, that... Uh, <laughs> I was busy worrying about that. They're uh, they're just kicking ass. I'm proud of them for that. I really am. Let's get something to get us free factories or uh, buildings. I guess I'll take that as well. Ooh. Looks like that's my timer. So I'm afraid I'll have to leave you guys. For now, at least. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you like this video, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of this content, be sure to the sub button for uploads weekdays as well as occasionally Saturdays. If you have any comments, feedback, and certainly leave in the comment section below. I read all the comments. Again, appreciate any all feedback you might have for me. If you want to chat, play games, anything like that, check out my Discord. Check out my various other links while you're there. Um, Twitch, Patreon, and my second channel. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. My name has been Mr. Doggo33. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.